Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is a grateful Tuesday and I am your girl, Crystal Flowers, coming to you like I do every Tuesday just to give a couple of nuggets of hope and encouragement. Uh, you know, I'm hoping, hold on one second, I'm going to add my partner in. Like we do every Tuesday, um, just to come in here and give you a little bit of hope and a little bit of encouragement for the week. So, oh, hey, there she is. Hey, beautiful. How are I'm you? Good. I'm loving your hair color. I'm loving it. I'm loving thank it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I might be doing something different at the top of the year. What you gonna do, girl? What you gonna do? Oh, wait for it. <laughs> you wait for it. Hey, so, hey, everybody. So I was just telling them we're gonna come up here and we're gonna just drop a couple of nuggets like we do, just a little bit of hope and encouragement that they can take throughout the rest of their day, their week, their hour, whatever is needed to get you through. Um, and this is my girl, Candace Brown. Candy, go ahead and introduce yourself. Good morning, everyone. I am Candace Brown, as she said, and um, <laughs> I am a mompreneur, and that's all y'all need to know. I got twin boys. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> She looked great to have a set of twin boys, right? Um, and so <laughs> you do. And she is an actually, um, I'm going to add a little bit to that. She is actually a, a phenomenal uh, woman, a phenomenal friend, a phenomenal mom, a phenomenal business partner. Thank Guys, um, she is just doing it and making it happen from the comforts of her home. And like I said, we come up here every first of the month together Um to try and drop some nuggets together just to be able to share some hope and I'll give you a little bit of inspiration for, like I said, your mo your moment, your hour, your day, your week, your month, your year, whatever it may be, right? Uh, we try to come up here and be hope givers. And today we're going to be talking about a spirit of gratitude as we normally do, but also talking about being grateful for your health. And I know, um, I don't know if you want to start off, Candy, but because um, I know you have faced some challenges before in the past. And um, maybe like two years ago around this time, was it two yeah, years ago? 2020, 2020, 2020, I couldn't get it out. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you want me to go? You want me to give a little tea? You can go ahead and kick it off. Give a little uh -huh. tea. Um, okay. What's going on, everybody? Who is that official? Official J T B. What's up? Welcome. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, 2020, um, around November, oh, we in December. Okay. Yeah. Around November of 2020, I did, um, I was actually in the hospital for, um, three days due to, um, high blood pressure. And, um, that was a very, very, very challenging, um, time for me. Um, cause I've never, you know, been in the hospital before besides giving birth. And so I really, I've always taken care of my health, working out, all that mm -hmm. good stuff. But sometimes life happens and sometimes our bodies get sick due to the stress in our lives and anxiety and taking on so much and never getting, getting rest. And that's what happened to me. And so on today, I do encourage you, you know, get your sleep. You know, you there's mm -hmm. a lot of people on social media. I grind, I only get two hours of sleep. Well, I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I am not that girl. I got two children. They go, they do this, they do that. I cook for them. I, I'm not, I'm just, I'm gonna get my sleep and I'm not gonna apologize for that. And I'm not gonna. Mm -hmm. um, so make sure you're getting your sleep, but make sure you're just reducing that stress and anxiety and try to stay in a peaceful place because. What really um, gets the body sick is what sixty to seventy percent stress. You know, you yeah. got your daily challenges. You got work. You got life. You got children. You got a spouse, and all those things can take your anxiety mm -hmm. through the roof. And like mm -hmm. I said, when that happened to me, I really, ha I really had to learn how to take it easy. And then I was actually, I had another health scare. I'm not gonna really go into detail about that. But um, thank God that I'm healed. And we'll talk a little bit more mm -hmm. about that another day. But that was another scare. And it was due to, you know, doctors saying genetics. But I believe that 
when it comes to generational, it runs out with me. Like, I'm not right, to, right. A lot of times, start to say, Well, you got diabetes, you got high blood pressure, you got a cripple leg because your mama had it. No, <laughs> it, 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 we're not working, we're not going with that. So, a lot of times, right. those things are because you picked up your family habits of eating, you know, you can't right. eat no pork chops and. You know, all this stuff we're putting in our body, we got to be very careful what we be put careful. inside. Mm -hmm. Very, 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 very um, yes. important that you watch what you eat. A lot of fast food, all of that sodium. So I just mm -hmm. encourage you to really be grateful for your health. You know, there's a lot of people in the hospital right now. They got feeding tubes. They, you know, they walk around with oxygen. Be grateful for your health. Health is wealth. I'm telling you. It, right, right. I'm not talking about if you ever been sick. I'm not talking about a headache. I'm I'm talking about being in the hospital where you right, right. shots and you know they bring you tubes. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. So be mm -hmm. very grateful for your health and don't take it lightly because one thing about your body, you may get away with it now, but as you get older, it'll just yeah. start to come down. Like y'all, I mm -hmm. watched my grandmother pass away. And it was from, you know, even though she was 89, I do feel like she could have lived a little bit longer. She, you know, she had diabetes mm -hmm. and she had a chronic kidney, not drinking water, you know, pig mm -hmm. eating all that stuff. You know, how Southern folks do, you know, I'm from Alabama. So yeah. I just want to share that with you. Take your health seriously, okay? Yes. So I'm turning back over to you, my friend. Yes, and God's... Um, you know, and something I want to piggyback off of something that she said, and it was about getting older because I am someone that's over 50 and being proactive about your health is very, very important. A lot of my friends, um, you know, at my age are experiencing a whole bunch of different challenges, sweet blood, low blood, high blood, you know, all of these different things. Yeah. And, I'm, and I am truly grateful that I am not one of them, but I also know that there's some proactive measures that have I've taken over the course of my life. And that is, um, and I'm not eating 100% right, so I'm not going to stand up here and tell you I do. But for the most part, I am cautious, cautious about my nutrition. I exercise. I um, attempt to get good rest. You know what I'm saying? I try to eliminate most of the stress out of my life. So being proactive about those things will get you to a better space when you are older. And so just making sure that you're doing, doing those things in advance, right? Because a lot of times we, we as people, um, we won't think about our health until we laid in the hospital and they're giving you all of these diagnoses and things like that. And then you'd be like, oh man, I shouldn't have had those 20 bags of chips yesterday, you know, or I could have did this. I could have did that. I could have did that. So get to the point of being proactive about the, um, about proactive over your health. Right. Yeah. And don't beat yourself up if you get it wrong one day. That's another thing too. Right. Be great, gracious with yourself, right? Give yourself a little bit of grace and be like, you know what? I didn't do this, but I can't, I did do this and be, you know, just try to change things so that you can live a longer and a more productive life. And then another thing too, we in the holidays, guys, we are tempted. They always got the free lunches. They got the parties. Yeah. They got the... Uh, all of these different things that you're going to be presented with during these holidays. Just take, make a choice to make a good decision about what you're putting into your body and the long-term effect of it. How is it going to affect my um, health in the future? How does it affect my family? Because what you do to yourself affects your family. A lot of times we want to do things and uh, we do things and we don't think about the result of right. how that trip that uh, catapults into our family, our friends, our future and different things like that. So every time you get ready to take um, uh, eat one of them pigtails, think about how that is <laughs> impacting your health and the future with your family. Mm -hmm. Right. Because every time you chew on it, <laughs> yeah. it is impacting you one way or another and um you know you can't you can't prevent everything but the things that you can prevent just take a step and try to prevent it 
Mm -hmm. Right. And so that's what we want to encourage you on today, um, just to make sure that you are being proactive about your health. Like Candace said a few minutes ago, your health is your greatest wealth. Mm -hmm. You without it, you. Um, yeah, you got nothing. <laughs> yeah. <pretty much. laughs> Yeah. So on today, we want to encourage you like we do every week, guys, just to go out there and um, be grateful for something that you are truly grateful for on today, because this is Grateful Tuesday. You have at least two things that you can be grateful for, right? It's whether you woke up this morning and you got running water, you're not living under a bridge, you got a job to go to, you might not like your boss, but you get you got somewhere to go to to earn an income. Uh, whether you got your own business, the, in, the income, the money might be coming in slow, but you have something coming in. Right. Um, so you would need to go out there and just be grateful for whatever it is on today. And I promise you how your perspective is on those two things will change your whole outcome about everything else that's coming your way. All right. So uh, you got anything else you want to add, Candy? No. Uh, hey, Wendy. All right. Hey, so Wendy. on that on that note, guys, we want you to also go ahead and share this broadcast with someone else that may need uh, a little bit of hope for today. And I will see you next week. Toodles. Thank you, Thanks, Candy. Thank you for watching. All right. All right. Appreciate it. Bye. -bye. Bye.